Okay, so who would have guessed, right? Ezra Miller has come out to apologize. That is the biggest thing we've heard tonight. So Ezra Miller apologizes and is actually seeking treatment for complex mental health issues. This comes straight to us from Variety. So in a statement provided to Variety by a representative of the actor, Miller broke their silence about the troubling behavior that they have exhibited in recent years. So we've been hearing so much about Ezra Miller this past year and the flash has definitely gone through its mm, turbulation you could say um, i mean we haven't heard a movie go through so much as the flash and especially with everything that's happened with ezra miller recently all of that i'm not going to get into it because we've heard it so many times already but i do believe that it is something very interesting to talk about so miller apologized for their actions this is what they had to say Having recently gone through a time of intense crisis, I now understand that I am suffering complex mental health issues and have begun ongoing treatment. I want to apologize to everyone that I have alarmed and upset with my past behavior. I am committed to doing the necessary work to get back to a healthy, safe, and productive stage in my life. First and foremost, I think all of us should definitely be happy that they are trying to get help now. And hopefully Warner Brothers will be helping in this because I think Warner Brothers as a studio, definitely it is in their best interest to have Ezra be good, have Ezra like get the help that they need because it definitely is something crazy to hear that the studio has been sort of quiet about it for so long. Now they have given statements here and there during the whole ordeal, whether whatever we hear and all of that from Ezra. Now they have been sort of talking about it here and there, but I do definitely believe that them not really addressing the issue for so long is definitely something that has affected the whole thing with The Flash. I think that finally getting to hear Ezra tell their side of the story and really give some insight about what's going on is important as well, because I think we haven't really heard much from Ezra up until now, of course. So I think one of the most recent things we just heard about Ezra as well was the felony burglary in Vermont. And that was something that was definitely a big like, okay, Warner Brothers or Ezra has to say something about all of this. Like what is going on? And so I'm just reading from the article some of the things that they're addressing here. And I'm going to link it below if you want to read the whole thing yourself. Um, so we know that a lot of this also had some problems with other Warner Brothers productions, such as Fantastic Beast as well. And so a source close to the studio says that Warner Brothers does support Miller's decision to seek professional help. And I do hope that Warner Brothers and their team are definitely behind Ezra during all of this, because I think, like I said, Warner Brothers is represented by Ezra. Ezra is at the forefront of two of the most major IPs in all of the world, Harry Potter and DC Comics playing The Flash. So I think that they definitely have to be there for somebody like Ezra and continue to support them as they try to get this help for sure. What does this mean for The Flash necessarily? So we've heard rumors before that they were definitely seeing options about what to do with The Flash. As we know, The Flash was supposed to come out. It's been pushed so many times now. But now it is supposed to come out next year. And the big question was, how would this go on about if there was this problem with its main lead? And so if they're going to be doing these press conferences, these press junkets, these runs, all of that, you know, The thing you always see with a movie to support it you have all of the stars there and of course the main star answering questions to the press trying to sort of promote the movie how would it be with Ezra with everything that he has not gonna overshadow the movie because the press is the press at the end of the day they're gonna go with whatever's the hot button at the time and of course the hot button of course would be everything that's gone on with them outside of the movie and so I think that this is definitely a good start to that for Ezra, not just as a thing to help the studio out with the movie, but as a person themselves, because a lot of the things we've been hearing about them definitely have been worrisome. And we were wondering if they were going to be able to get the help that they needed in order to get like above all of this. And I'm happy to hear that they finally are. Now, we don't have an official like statement out by Warner Brothers just yet. This is all just breaking. I think this broke at, it says 7.51 p.m. Pacific time. So just as I was like getting done with watching Better Call Saul, I saw this story. 
And like I said, I think it's great that we are finally getting some answers and hearing that Ezra's like trying to do better. But I'm curious to see what the response will be from Warner Brothers probably tomorrow or if not Wednesday about how they will continue with this. Does this mean the Flash gets pushed? Imagine if the Flash, you wake up and it says Flash coming to you November. Like that would just break everything, right? Um, and I could definitely see that, especially with this new Discovery uh, merger and everything. It sounds like they are trying to sort of get the ball rolling on a lot of these projects that sort of had themselves stalled for some time. And I could definitely see this also being a part about all of that. But we'll see what they say right about it all once we get further into the details of what exactly this means. So let me know your thoughts and your opinions on this whole Ezra Miller situation with them coming out and apologizing now. Do you think this is the right move now or do you think it's too late? What do you think? Like, how do you see the Flash going forward after all of this now that Ezra has come out to apologize? I'm curious to know your thoughts and your opinions on it. I don't know how I feel, but like I said, at the end of the day, I'm happy that they are getting the help that they need and that they are going to be able to move forward from all of this. And I hope that they aren't going back to anything and will just push forward. And I think that they are a truly talented um, actor and I hope to see more of them in the future if they are able to get the help that they need. So overall, I think it is definitely the right move in regards to Ezra's life as like his personal life. If career-wise or all of that, I think it's definitely besides the point. We'll see what Warner Brothers said. But as a person themselves, I am happy to hear that they are trying to get the help they need and sort of atoning for what they've done as well. So we'll see what happens. Let me know your thoughts and opinions below. Yeah, but if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We are on the road to 25,000 subscribers. We are less than 300 away from 24,000. So can we get there before the end of the week? That is definitely our goal for this week. And make sure you check out all our other videos as well. We did a video on Better Call Saul's finale. We will have some other videos as well this week on all the stuff you love in movies, TV shows, and all that good stuff. But as always, that is going to do it for me. I'll see all of you next time. Check out the videos on the left. And as always, stay safe, stay positive. If you're still listening, really appreciate you making it to the end. Make sure you check out all our other stuff. As I said, we do have a podcast as well, as well as our website, CultureElixir.com. Twitter and TikTok is Culture Elixir provided in the screen. And also our Instagram is the Culture Elixir. So make sure you check out all of our other stuff where we post more regularly on all the things we might not talk about on YouTube. But really appreciate you making it all the way to the end nonetheless.